Oh, there's a nice course. I could see why he chose to stay here his whole life. Oh, yeah. and, I mean, why would you ever move from this gorgeous piece of paradise? Just amazing. Welcome back as we continue east to see First Flight Airport for the very first time and to go play some golf with my cousin. In our last episode, we flew into the highest public use airport east of the Mississippi, Hotel Sierra Papa, and were greeted by a friendly and helpful voice on the radio. After landing in Hot Springs, Virginia, fueling up, and enjoying the nice FBO, it was time to continue our journey east towards Kitty Hawk First Flight Airport. We hope you enjoy this episode, and if you do, please leave a comment, like and subscribe, and set those alerts, or perhaps even share it with a friend. Your support and excitement for aviation encourages me to keep producing content and is much appreciated. I clear on the left, clear over here on the right. Perfect. Now that was a lot of fun. Would highly recommend if you're around Virginia area and around the Hot Springs, Virginia area, stop in at Ingalls Field. Good old gym. And the airport. I don't know, they, they call him a manager, but the airport, I guess, like head guy uh, super nice Barry here who worked at the resort down the road as a golf instructor for like 35 years helped oh fuel us up oh, did a fantastic job are you lost <laughs> kind of I figured <laughs> you it out you need to take Charlie o out or you <laughs> I'm can go this way. follow this taxi way out whatever works I couldn't you. tell if that was okay to, never yeah, mind so I'm that just taxi way will take you out and you can back taxi uh, yes, yes. or you can follow the taxi way out yes. to the runway should probably be the preferred way, but so yes. Either, to answer your question, either way, I was work. lost. Just a little bit, but yeah. What did you think of it? It was great. Good. Um. Yes, I'll have to come back and land someday, since I was too busy looking out the window. Yeah. Which I also highly recommend. So Jim said that if we take off out of here and basically hook a right downwind from. After taking off from runway runway uh, two five two five here, we will be able to see the resort. And I guess it's a really pretty. I guess there's some historic buildings on there and everything. So that's what we're gonna do. So hopefully the cameras pick it up and we'll be able to give you guys a good shot of the resort that is near Ingalls Airport here in Hot Springs, Virginia. Yeah, definitely ten out of ten for. Ingalls Airport. It's pretty amazing. Love the approach in. Hopefully the takeoff out of here is a lot of fun and we'll do yeah. some sightseeing over the resort area and then we'll continue on our way to Kitty Hawk. Should be pretty neat. Should be. My friend Barry inside said we got one of the best days they've had in a while. Yes. Like, look at that. Oh my god. Okay, this views were amazing. The look airport was awesome. But then, to top it all off, these people here are just top notch. They were some of the friendliest people I have met at any airport. Just super team. So, A plus is all the way around for the crew here a at Hot Springs. Plus, plus. Look at that. Can we just sit here for a while? I know. Just kidding. Check out the views. All right. Should be good to go. I'm gonna let you do the uh, radios, and I'm gonna do this takeoff since you got the last takeoff, and I want to do a little dip down here. And then once yes. we get on course then uh, I'll let you have flight controls again. Sounds good and to the me. the next landing, though, will be yours. Deal. Sound like a winner? Sounds good. All right. We're going to be departing out of here. We're going to do that right downwind departure, as good old Jim suggested, where we'll dip down slightly, probably lower than this hill here, and then we'll slide out through that valley and then continue our climb up uh, towards the east. That's the brief. Sweet. Let's do it. All right. Well, Heading checks. Check. Power's coming in. Yeah. Instruments look good. Alive. Gauges are in the green. Coming up on rotation speed. There's rotation. Lowering the nose for the climb out. 
a little bit of birds over here. Oh wow. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and start a right turn here. Chase those birds away. Oh, it's beautiful. All right, I'm gonna slide down in the valley here. So that's where he's worked for 35 years. Oh wow, look at that side of it. I know, right? Isn't it just beautiful? That's crazy, that's like all this town has. Oh, there's a nice course. I could see why he chose to stay here his whole life. Oh, yeah. I mean, why would you ever move from this gorgeous piece of paradise? Just amazing. But COVID's got most of it all shut down, sadly. A lot of people lost their jobs, he was saying. It's just sad. Imagine being somewhere 35 years and being let go. We hate you, COVID. That looks like a fun place, though. Oh, they have a lazy river, too? Yep. Sign me up. The airport that we took off from. Just sitting right up there on that right, top of that higher hill. Higher than us. That's amazing. All right, so I looked at the traffic. I didn't see any over there. I'm going to go ahead and switch over to the traffic screen just to be sure. Because they are using 2-5 here, and we're cutting right across it now. Make sure we don't cut anybody off on final. Haven't heard anybody on the radios saying anything yet. That's a cool shot. Isn't it? I'm going to try. Do it. While you're still flying. I can't see anything though, so... Oh, sorry, my face is like right up in this camera. Oh! We'll see if anything even turns out from that. It's just awesome. This is why we fly. I'm glad Jim suggested that. I probably would have never uh, yeah, I was just slid down off. in the valley there. I would have just taken Went off and... and Carried on. Off we go, but that was neat. Kind of see the area. Look at that airport just sitting right there on top of the hill. It's like they just shaved the top of the mountain off and put an airport there. That's crazy. And they Isn't it? Uh, 5242 Romeo, about uh, two miles uh, north east of the airport. We are uh, doing a straight for two three for a little iPad. Pick up our clearance. The Kitty Hawk. How awesome is that? One cool airport to the next. Do it. Washington Fenix, Aero 65 Kilo Foxtrot. 65 Kilo Foxtrot, go ahead. 65 Kilo Foxtrot just off Ingalls Field. Looking to pick up our IFR to Foxtrot, Foxtrot Alpha. In November, five, or six five kilo fox trot, score five five four three, I den. Five five four three, and I den for arrow six five kilo fox trot. Five five four three, and here's the I den. And November six five kilo fox trot, got your radar contact about two zero miles west of the uh, Montebello VOR. Maintain six thousand, you cleared to uh, fox trot, fox trot alpha via direct Lynchburg. Direct Elizabeth City Direct in altimeter 3014. Commentating 6000, cleared to Foxtrot Foxtrot Alpha via Lynchburg, Elizabeth City. Do you want to know something funny? What's that? When I told my mom where we were going, she looked it up on a map and circled Elizabeth City and said that I should stop there. It's my name. Oh, isn't that precious? So precious. Now you need to take a picture a of that thing. and send it to your mom and be like, I flew over it. Right, does that count? Look it. Still got to read your book. I know, right? Got to get it in. I've been reading Normalization of Deviance, a threat to aviation safety. How's so for so far? everybody out there, if you've read it, let me know what your thoughts are. If you haven't read it yet, I'd highly recommend getting it. So far, I've been enjoying it a lot. Only a few chapters in, as you can see. A few chapters in. Well, I guess 
I'm at chapter six. <laughs> LJ four sixty eight, watch Center Roger, climbing same flight level uh, two flight level two zero zero. I hope I don't start reading a chapter and it says pilots that read books during flight are <laughs> the problem. LJ four sixty eight, like, oh, put that away. <laughs> LJ-468, Roger, climbing. Just so everybody knows, we have a fully licensed pilot flying the aircraft. Oh, yeah. I'm just along for the ride. Kilo Foxtrot, contact. Uh, Lindsberg approach, 135.0. 135.0, 65 Kilo Foxtrot. Fox approach, Liberty 161, leaving practice area 16 low. We're headed to New London for uh, one mile the pattern before heading back to Lunchburg. I was like, what? <laughs> Allegiant 994, you can expect straight Represent. in visual approach from way 6. I'll have lower for you in about 5 miles. So where's that from here? Liberty What's 161, one, radar service terminate. Squawk VFR, change your advisory frequency. It's proved just be advised company traffic. It's about 5 miles south maneuvering in practice area at 3,400. Squawk VFR, frequency change approved, and we'll keep our eyes up for the traffic. Thanks for the info, Liberty 161. Liberty 161! Flagent 994, descend maintain 6,000. We'll fly right over beautiful... I feel like this one's gonna Liberty work. Liberty <laughs> Airport. Liberty University in the Lynchburg Airport. Alright, right here. Oh yeah, it's gonna be... No, cool. it's We're so bad! Liberty 132, we'd like to request the r 22 back in Lynchburg vectors. Yes, so gorgeous. Oh, amazing. No, it's not. I know. Why does it Liberty look like that? Liberty 132, Roger, maintain VFR. My new iPhone is good enough. It's a beautiful the eye. I guess, folks, you still have to go out and live a life. You can't just look at pictures. Well, duh, but I wanted to brag to some people. And they'd be like, cool, that looks like the sky. Oh, we get 994, Roger. Yeah, I can see that anywhere in the country. Are you reducing the speed now? I get that small in Chicago. Are you in Indiana? Allegiant 994, yeah. <laughs> Roger. I might have to walk you around just because we do have traffic wind in 3-4. You'll see the airport, and then if you look to the left of the airport, that's Liberty University. So you can actually see already. Oh my word, I gotta get a video of this if it shows up. You can actually see the LU painted on the mountain way out there. Really? Yeah. You can see it? Yeah, I'm gonna put this up for a second. Yeah. You can watch when I, I'll try to zoom in on it here in this video. I don't know if it'll work. Especially with the propeller there. Oh, okay, I do see. It's in a circle. Yep, big All circle. Right. And so to the right of that, there's a big mountain of, uh, there, there's a snow. Yeah. And so that's a year-round that. snowboarding and skiing hill. Oh. It's like fake snow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then the airport. So the university I, is right here, right? Yeah. So one one eight Charlie Romero The airport contact. that I usually fly right into there. isn't Lynchburg here. I fly into an airport called Falwell. It's I'm assuming that. When we make the turn over that. the VOR, I think right there. you'll be able to see both, not just Lynchburg Airport, but also Falwell, where it is. And Falwell's a neat airport, too, because it's like a ski slope airport. That? And it's a lot of fun to land on. You land one way, and you take off the other way. So, yeah, here's. The, the VOR we're flying over. 410 Fox Romeo. Uh, let's see. If I need you to continue flying westbound right for there, right now. Falwell Airport. And the okay. university is basically all this right here. So is this on the other. 410 Fox Romeo. Continue Wait, flying this is westbound. Lynchburg. Yeah. That one's. It's like just uh, is just it give on me about the, the, another It's not minute. on the campus. So it's on the other side of where the LU is. 3327 right. okay. Contact Wash Center 12405. So you land? Liberty 132 the, left heading 290. And you take off the, tip. the runway 28. You land Eight, on Charlie runway Romeo, 28. On course. And then you take off on runway 10. Interesting. It's a really neat airport. All right, 410 Fox Romeo, you can uh, resume your uh, uh, operation. There. That was a really neat experience. Liberty 132, 600 left heading 250, 3000 to establish. Liberty University. Approach. What, what? Uh, 2503 Tad, Total Topics, clear the RNF22 approach, level 32, thank you. So cool. Alright, you getting excited to see Kitty Hawk? What, what? I am. Should be pretty neat. Should be a nice evening. Beautiful evening in Kitty Hawk. Are we going to eat some seafood? Yes. yes. I hope so. Hopefully there's some good places open. I saw a nice place. I don't know if they're open. 
At this point, helicopter 135, which is all the batteries anyway, traffic, just let them uh, coming up from uh, yeah. the south, descending for three, Maybe four, out of fifty two hundred feet. Yes. Like me eating a snack. I don't know what I got though. I've got all kinds of good stuff if you, you want know. to raid some of mine. Roger that. Look, we're only an hour out already, so I am like feeling really happy because now I don't mind eating a snack or taking a drink because the worst case <laughs> scenario, my bladder's only going to be in pain for an hour. <laughs> only an so hour. I'm happy about that. That's fine. So I am going to drink up. Have some Gatorade. Five West Galema, I'm showing traffic ahead to your right, indicating 1,300. Right now, this is basically back Possible to the could be low-level helicopter. Nothing else to look at. Oh, you weren't lying about having a drink. <laughs> Just chug the whole thing. Only 10 calories, though. But... That's why I buy these ones. No sugar, 10 calories. But buy a regular Gatorade? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. They don't taste good. You should if buy. If you buy white water. Gatorades, no, you should go and to you enjoy bit. white Gatorades, you have an like 87% chance of being a hero. Does it on the internet? It must be true. Are you trying to tell me something? <laughs> In case the COVID still is. <laughs> That's why I love the mask because I can't really smell all the way yet because of my COVID a month ago. <laughs> So like, nobody knows if yet. my breath does smell since I can't smell it on my own. You're like, ah. <laughs> but apparently it does right now. <laughs> <laughs> so bad that I need three. <laughs> Rude. I was just but being, I will save that. I was, I was just being nice. <laughs> or attempting to be. <laughs> I don't often succeed. Subtle hints. I get it. All right, folks. Well, we're just going to be cruising along here till we get in close to Kitty Hawk and then hopefully capture that landing in there before it gets too dark to enjoy the beautiful views. Go land where the right brothers clear visual approach, runway yeah, three first four. flight. And it's my first landing in this plane, so be nice. Right on. And approach Liberty 121, low. Can we occupy 15 high as well? Liberty 121, I'll show you having both. I right, appreciate that, Liberty 121. Airport, Wright Brothers National Memorial. Automated weather observation. Two, zero, three, seven, Zulu weather. Wind, calm, this is elephant, one, zero, clear, below, one, two, thousand, temperature, one, zero, Celsius, two point, four, altimeter, three, zero, one, seven. Very good. Good weather there. All right, if you want to run descent checks, just to make sure we don't miss anything. And then just review over your landing speeds, because this is a shorter runway, so you're going to have to set okay, Mars, it down. Mars 901, uh, turn right heading 040. Not cram on the brakes, but steadily Fuel get on the brakes. on, prop control, full. Oh, this is landing. Just kidding. Pre-landing. Got the weather, talking to them, seatbelts, fuel selector. On fuller tank. Probably switch those. Yes, the fullest tank. And uh, for sir. November 5, Kilo Foxtrot, you got first flight in sight? First flight sight for Arrow 65 Kilo Foxtrot. 5 Kilo Foxtrot, clear vision approach on the first flight. Hi, right, we could cancel IFR at this time for Arrow 65 Kilo Foxtrot. 
5 kilo Foxtrot, IFR cancellation receives. Squawk maintain VFR, change of advisory frequency is approved. Squawk and VFR and change to advisory is approved. Thanks for the help. 6 5 kilo Foxtrot. MR is 901, turn right heading of 055. Uh, right, uh, five. Prop control, so we'll just gonna leave it at that. First flight traffic, arrow 65 kilo, Foxtrot, left downwind, runway 3. First flight. Alright, so we can go ahead and get some flaps in. Alright, we'll reduce the power back. First flight traffic, 95 Charlie Papa, 6 miles to the north, inbound for runway 3. First flight. Wait for the 45, and then we'll turn a base. So, we want to notch a flap straight. Oh, there we go. And that looks like a 45 there. First flight traffic, arrow 65 Kilo Foxtrot, left base, runway 3, first flight. Traffic, Chevy Charlie, circling body on light, thousand feet, beast traffic. Alright, There we go. Finals looking clear. It really is just hiding in there. First flight traffic, Aero 65 Kilo Foxtrot, final, runway 3, first flight. And now we do our dumps check, gas, undercarriage, mixture, prop, switch your seatbelt, secure and set. Make sure to put on the last notch of flaps there. And at that point, go ahead and bring the prop forward. All, All the, way. the way. Yep. And see how that was nothing on the engine, there was no rev up, Yeah. nothing that would be hard on it. That's what we're trying for. But we do want it forward for the go around if necessary. And now you just fly it like any other airplane. As long as you keep about 70 until a short final, then bringing it back to 65. Pitch for airspeed, power for altitude. First flight traffic, 9000 Charlie Papa, downwind for runway 3, first flight. Short final, three in the green. Pretty good for the first time. Yeah, if you just hold a touch of power and let that nose fly down and then pull the power all the way back, it would have been perfect. Perfect. All right, so we'll just kind of start bringing it to slow it down. There's a little And when we get to about work. to where these deer are, then we'll go ahead and turn around. I just want to look at them. That's the only reason for that, because okay. there's a beautiful buck there. So we'll go, come to the right and we'll spin around to the left. Two beautiful bucks. <laughs> first flight traffic, Aero 65 Kilo Foxtrot, back taxi, runway 3, first flight. Look, Look at him. Look at you. Aww. First flight traffic, 9 flight traffic, on the left base, runway 3, first flight. It will hustle. Wow, he's on a really tight pace. So we'll hurry it up a little bit. I think this is about the fastest you want to go, though. Sorry, bud. All right, go ahead and reduce that power back. And we'll turn off at this first taxiway. And four four traffic, nine five traffic, public final, runway three, got you in sight. Alright, 
go ahead and get across that clear line so he can land. First flight traffic, arrow 65 Kilo Foxtrot, clear runway 3, first flight. Alright, so we're going to park right there beside that Pilatus in the in the one the the line that's like this you're going to pull up right next to that and be facing the same direction he is and the one two over All right all right we have made it ladies and gentlemen how the do I go about this with this? airport. Yep, just keep it coming around. Oh. And get right in that center. After landing checklist, shut down checklist. Um, flaps good, fuel pump off. Trim set to neutral. Is there a way last time you just like did it or you just know? It does not matter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can do it. Um, there he is, right there. Yeah, Transponder set to standby. So you just landed at first flight. How'd that feel? Like I have, like it's my first flight ever because I literally looked and acted like I had no idea what I've been doing. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess it's fitting. <laughs> it's fitting. No, you literally did like my first flight. It was really flight. good. I think at first you were just staring at all your beautiful instruments. Yeah, and, and I could, didn't like, even know where I was because all of a sudden we were like here. Get rid of all these. <laughs> Look outside. <laughs> Land at airport, <laughs> just like any other airplane. But no, Anyways. very good job uh, for a first landing in an arrow, <sighs> and then we'll just work out getting that last little part down. Yeah. But uh, right. Good job. Good work. Thanks. All right. Great. We have arrived. We've made it. Woo! Throw all that footage in the trash. <laughs> it was a pretty neat experience to fly into the very area where the Wright brothers took to the skies for the very first time. I could not and would not want to imagine a world without airplanes and air travel. This place truly brings us back to the roots of aviation and brings with it an even deeper appreciation for the trailblazers and pioneers of aviation that made this thing we all use and love possible. Flying brings with it a sense of adventure and freedom that I hope many will get the chance to experience. In our next episode, and last in the East Coast Golf Trip series, we take off from First Flight Airport, fly along the beautiful Atlantic Ocean as the sun sets, and head north to go play golf and enjoy some quality time with my cousin. Please be sure to stay tuned for the next video and hit that notification button so you can be one of the first to like and comment.